Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Google Static Maps API with FME server. To demonstrate that we created a small example and it starts with this simple HTML form and here you can enter your email address and then uh, select a park from Austin, Texas, or select Andrews and then uh, say if you want that the park geometry is drawn on the map or not. I want that. So I just sent the request and now I should receive an email very soon. You see that it was successful and the email arrives maybe now. Yeah, here we go. And uh, here you can see the simple, uh, a simple image uh, with a drawn park in it. So what is behind um, this example? This is the worksp workspace we have. Um, it's it's basically very simple. We have three published parameters. These are the pa uh, parameters you um, can define in the web form. They are passed in in the workspace, and then we have first the filter. We filter the the park geometry reprojected, and then we have two pipelines. One is for with park geometry, that's the lower one, and without park geometry. Without park geometry we um, first create a center point of the the park and extract the coordinates of it and send it with other parameters like zoom and the image size to the Google server. After that uh, the the Im the, the received image is written uh, to the disk and sent as an email to the user. And with geometry, uh, we use a new feature from AFMI 2013. Uh, it's called encoded polyline. Uh, with this encoding uh, of geometry, we can send the geometry directly to Google uh, in a GET, in a simple GET request what, what we are doing here. Uh, we also have to add some additional parameter like path weight and uh, path color fill color. And then it's exactly the same. We write it to the, the received image to the disk and send a confirmation email. This example is uh, is uh, on FMEpedia so if you want to build it build it for, for yourself, you can download it and uh, read the documentation there. Have fun!